Welcome to the voice of Grace All-Star in San Diego, California, where we tell stories around us from the perspective of children. My name is Ethan and I will be your host for tonight. Today, we are privileged to have author and illustrator Amalia Hoffman come and talk to us about her new book, My Monster Piece, which is a funny book about a little kid trying to draw the meanest, most scary monster. Amalia Hoffman is an award-winning author and illustrator of many children's books. She frequently tells her stories in schools, libraries, and bookstores. Hi everyone, thank you. In this section, we will be talking about Miss Amalia's journey, which I know many of you are interested in. Hi Amalia, I'm Erin, and I'm a fifth grader at Deer Canyon Elementary School. Thanks for spending time with us. And my first question is, who is your favorite children's book author? And what was your favorite book as a child? Okay, uh, Erin, I grew up in Israel, not in the United States. So my favorite author, we read books that were written for Israeli children in Hebrew. And one book I remember very well was called Ella Kari, The Girl from Lapland. And this was written by two journalists. One of them was Swedish and her name was Ali Yanes. And the other one was from Israel and her name was Hannah Rifkin. And this was a series of books. And each book was uh, photographs and a story of a child in a different country. So these journalists traveled from country to country and wrote stories about children in different country. And the one I love the most was about a girl that lived in Lapland, and her name was Ella Curry. And why did I love the story? Because she was so different than me. I grew up in a very warm country, and she grew up in a country with a lot of snow. And I hardly saw snow, like in San Diego, you don't see snow. And her pet was, uh, you know, a deer. That's what they had there, deers. And I never knew anyone who had a pet as a deer. And she lived in a hut made of wood. And she cooked on the floor with her mother. And I was so fascinated with this book because they used to, the photograph was so real. And there were children, but there were children that were def- very different than the children I knew. Wow, that sounds exciting. Well, so- why did you decide to be an illustrator and writer then? Okay, well, I tell you, I always wrote stories. When I was a kid, I always wrote things. And uh, and I always drew pictures. And like, you know, sometime when, let's say, there was uh, a birthday, I made a card. And I'll show you one card I made when I was like about maybe uh, eight, 11 years old. And you can see it's a card from my mom. The writing is in Hebrew because I wrote Hebrew at that time. And, and it, everything is mixed media. You can see there are rhinestones and pieces of uh, shiny paper. And when you open it, there was a whole story to my mom and a whole picture in there. And so I always did something like that. Something else I did uh, was uh, a card for my mom that looked like this and it had a, a, like a cuckoo clock. And as you turn the cuckoo clock, in every slice of the cuckoo clock, there was another bless- blessing for my mom. And you can see I cut it up. And then when you opened it, um, there was a whole blessing and a poem for my mom. And the poem sometimes we were in rhymes. All my life, from the time I was a little girl, I always drew and I always wrote stories about my writing. And when I grew up, I said to myself, you know, wouldn't it be nice to kind of get back to my own childhood? What was I like when I was five? What did I think about? What were my fears? What were my dreams? What was my favorite toy? Right? So that's the same thing for me. I by, by writing for kids and illustrating for kids, it brings me back to my own memories. I'm Eden you and I'm nine years old. My first question is, when did you start writing your first book and how many published books you have so far? Okay, I, I'm writing my, I wrote my, I started writing my first book at about 15 years ago. And I'll show you uh, some of the books I have. Uh, one, two, three, I'll show them four, five, six, seven, eight books and one on the way. So this was my first book and it was a story that was an, an adaptation for another story. And if I look at the year when it was uh, published, it was uh, 2007. So I would say I started in 2007. Um, and in the beginning, you know, I really didn't know what it was like to write children books. I just kind of went cold. 
I said, okay, I'm going to write a story. Let's see, it's cool, you know. I write a story and illustrate it, and then it was published, which was、um, a great thrill. Hello, my name is Amy, and I am ten years old. My favorite part of the story, monster piece, is when the little sister thought the monster was the tooth fairy and drew wings on the monster. <laughs> yeah. So my first question is: Do you like being an illustrator more or a writer? You know, this is a question that's hard to answer.、Um, for this book, I really enjoyed mostly making the illustrations. But there are books where I like the writing better than the illustration. You know what it's like when you write and illustrate; you do it together. So a doodling, doodling is really a process when you are thinking, but at the same time your hand is busy doing that. And even if it's just a doodle, like you know, like you just make like a, you know, scribbles like that, believe it or not, there is a thought in there. There is a thought in there because all of a sudden you look at your doodle and you say, "Wow, you know, it looks like a, a, a picture of somebody with like a, a big nose or something," you know. So it's really coming up together, and that's the way writers, illustrators work. They have an idea, but somehow in the in their mind they have images of what it would look like, and they go hand in hand like that. Okay. Another question is, how long do you draw and write every day? Oh, I I work a lot. But I would say, on an average day, I could be working eight hours.、Um, Sometimes I work late at night, including the weekend. But you know what? I don't call it work. I call it、um, enjoyment. My name is Jaden, and I'm in fourth grade, and I'm nine years old. And my first question is, why did you write this book, and what age、um, group do you recommend it to? Oh, that's a really interesting question. And、um, I wrote this book because I wanted to tell kids in a way that what we think is a monster is usually something that's very different than us, right? And we have ideas of what a monster. A monster is somebody with a huge nose. A monster is somebody with claws. A monster is somebody with sharp teeth. A monster is somebody with a green, ugly tongue. But the truth is, when you think about it. What we are afraid of usually is what we don't understand and we don't know. And my idea for the book was that, you know, of course I wanted it to be funny and entertaining, but I wanted to put a message in there that we should accept anybody. And the funny thing is, the book at the end, the monster is looking at kids and finding scary things about kids. So it shows you that. Just like we are afraid of what we don't know, somebody else is afraid of what they don't know. Be friends. Reach out to people who are different than you. Maybe from a different religion. Maybe from a different race. Maybe people who are looking different than you. You know, for whatever reason. And trying to say, well, but how are we similar? We're all similar because we. Want to laugh? We want to have a good time, and try to make friends not just with the community and the family and the people that you know, but reach further than that. That was the idea. That's why I wrote the book. Okay, thank you. My second question is: Are the things in the book real? Because they look really real. Yeah, they are real.、Um, everything here is real. I'm going to show you the original. This is obviously a photograph of an original collage. All these washes. Are actually glued on, and, and the paint are blobs of paint that are real paint. They actually stuck on it. Do you see all these buttons? Yes. These are these are real buttons, and these are buttons. These are buttons I glued on.、Oh, uh, so、they're、cool. the real thing, and and you know because I said to myself that's called mixed media collage. That's a real crayon, right?、Oh. I photographed the crayon and put it, but it's a real crayon. It's made from the yarn that I showed you. The eyes is made from cereal, from Cheerios. You know how Cheerios come from different color. So I just got a big bag of Cheerios and I glued the eyes、uh, into it. What I'm saying is that you can,、uh, when you do art, let's say you you decide to do a painting, stuff. Don't limit yourself to just、um, paint and brushes and you know things like that.、Um, say, okay, what else can I stick on? That could be fun. So after everything is.、Uh, Assembled together, I bring it to a photographer. He photographs it, makes a digital file out of it, and then it goes into、uh, a printer and it makes it into a book. My、uh, name is Amy, and I'm eight years old. 
Why is the book about monsters? As a kid, did you think of monsters often? The book is about monsters because I wanted to do a book about something that people are many times afraid of, you know? And when I, when I was a kid, I used to imagine all these monsters, you know? I lived in a, in a town called Jerusalem in Israel, and uh, we had a big yard, and there was a, like a staircase going down, down, down. And I always imagined that there was a monster at the end of the staircase. And once in a while I'd say, okay, do I have the courage to go down the steps and up the steps because maybe there is a monster there. I, I thought a lot about monsters when I when I was a kid. Um, I tell you what happened to me when I was a kid. There was once, I was about your age and there was, I, 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 I had this, you know, I, I subscribed to this children magazine and there was a um, thing in there to make a really scary witch, like a contest. And I drew and drew and drew, and everybody loved my witches. Nobody thought they were scary. So, you know, that, that also gave me the idea for a book about somebody who's trying to make something scary. But monsters always interested me. So a monster is a creature of our imagination, and imagination always fascinated me. How did you think of making monsters with these specific attributes? Oh, well, yeah, because in the beginning, I wanted to make the monsters that, you know, often you see um, scare people. So, you know, like a monster with a, a long tongue. Think of a creature that has a long tongue and it eats different bugs and different other creatures. And uh, over here, I wanted to make one that has claws and tongue and all the attributes that all the other monsters have to get. But later on, in the other part of the book, I went into things that the kid is imagining now as good monsters or net, not scary monsters and then the attributes change kind of uh, resemble what the kid is used to it still have a long green tongue but it's eating popcorn hello miss amalia my name is caitlin i am 10 years old who is your favorite monster in the book and why do you like it uh, this is my favorite monsters because uh, um, I use a lot of mixed media here. Um, I use uh, Cray Pop paper, if you know what it means. You see this, the, the purple background, yarn. I used uh, the eyes from um, Cheerios. And I also like this monster because this is the monster that the kid makes and thinks, well, that for sure would be the scariest monster because it's got the long tongue and it's got the claws and it's got pointy horns and the whole thing together. And I like the fact that it's red like that over um, two pages. And I thought he was like, in a way, he does look like a tiger and he's like funny. Do you first write the story and then illustrate it? Well, no, in this one, it's actually together. Um, I, uh, I have a sketchbook and I um, write and then I draw. So that's what I did. I, I kind of made a storyboard and drew and wrote at the same time. Of course, it changed later on because when you do that very quickly, it doesn't always look like what it's going to look like at the end. So you just make the thing very quickly. Like, you can try to do that. Like you can take, you know, a couple of pieces of paper and uh, fold them. Like let's say you have eight pieces of paper and you fold them and then you'll have like a booklet. If you take, um, you know, a few pages, then you have like a booklet and then you can try to draw on each one and write at the same time. But you might not use colors at that time. You might just do it with pencil to save time and that's called a sketchbook and some people call it a dummy a dummy is like a book that's not really a book but it's just the beginning of the idea i always have a sketchbook with me yeah hi miss amalia my name is andrew and i am nine years old how long did it take you to write this book the art was harder or the writing uh in this book i think the art was harder because I had so many pictures to make. It took more time. And I went back and forth. Like I drew one monster and then I drew it again and then I changed it. And then, you know, we designed the cover. And if the cover goes like that, if you open it, the monster, it, it's a little different than the jacket art. This is called a jacket because it covers the book. All together, from the time I got the idea to the time the book actually came out, it was about a year and a half. It might be two years because you might have the idea plenty in your head before that. What will your next book be about? Oh, I have a new book coming up and it's about Masha, who is a goat. But she lives in a farm and she eats hay and she's sick and tired of eating uh, farm food. 
All the other animals love it. They all go yum, yum, yum. But Masha is like sick and tired. So she decided to go and look for different food. And she ends up in a French restaurant where the waiter is a penguin. Um, and she answers the restaurant. And you know, you go to a restaurant, you think you're going to be eating the food. But she eats the basket. Well, you know, she, she eats the basket. Then she eats the table. And after a while, she realizes it's not just about the food. It's about my friends and having fun with my friends. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, and she goes back. She goes back to the farm. And then in the farm, she opens a restaurant. So it's an engine. It's a funny, funny book. But it also has a message. And the message is that sometimes, you know, we, we think something else is better. But then we realize what we have is exactly what we want, in a way. So that's my next one. It's called Masha Mantri. Hello, Miss Amalia. My name is Gavin and I'm 10 years old. This book is so colorful in illustrations. I want to be an author and illustrator in the future. Do you have any tips for making art for a book? Sure, I tell you, don't wait until you grow up. Start doing it now. One thing you can do is you can join, you know, there are many children magazines uh, and many times they have contests for writing. Uh, and this is something great that you can do. You know, there is highlights and different magazines, a Calliope for kids your age. Um, you can also in school um, do something where each kid makes a book. Don't wait until you go up because right now your head is full of ideas. And, um, and what you want to do is, what I do, is have a sketchbook. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can be a notebook and carry it with you and let's say you come home uh, and you have some time um, instead of like watching a video game or tv or whatever say okay i'm gonna take an hour maybe i'll sit outside in my yard or maybe i will uh, sit on the bed you know and i'm just gonna come up with ideas and one way you can do it is really close your eyes and start imagining things, imagining. And you have a lot of ideas inside you. Maybe something that happened to you. Maybe something that scared you. Maybe something that um, interests you. And, and when you write it, start giving your characters names. Could be very funny names. If you're not comfortable making the pictures, so you can just make stick figures. Later on, you can worry about maybe you'll cut it, you'll cut pictures from a magazine, or maybe you will start really making the art. Uh, but the most important thing is to have the idea. Tap your imagination. Hello, Miss Amalia. My name Hi. is Eva and um, I'm nine years old. What advice would you give to a writer writing their first book? Don't write about something that's already been written. Don't write about, you know, don't do a book about a character from TV. Rather, do something from your own head. When you make your own character and your own story, make it from you. Something that really means something to you. Maybe about your family, or about you, or about your dream. What comes from me? Who am I? Always try to write about and illustrate things that are personal, and mean something to you rather than something that you see all over because that doesn't make you a writer. That just makes you somebody that copies somebody else's life. Before the end of the interview, I would like to encourage everyone to be tolerant, non-judgmental, and welcoming to all people in this diverse society. Just like Amalia expresses in this book, when we free ourselves from bias and stereotyping, our world is more colorful and we can befriend each other, even if we don't look or behave in the same way. Thank you, Amalia, for answering our questions, and we look forward to reading your new books. <laughs> Thank you. I really enjoyed all your questions and, I, and all your interest. It means a lot to me yeah, you know, to write for kids. Thank you so much.